Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And now we're going to continue our conversation with my friend Marlene Soup. And hit it, girl. Okay, we've spoken about the um, the flags and, and the different um, uh, toxic relationships and different uh, lusts and, and, and things, strongholds. Right. We need to talk about healing. Yes. Healing and, and what is needed. Because when you're in, first of all, when you're broke and your partner or your husband or your wife is broken, you have no idea what the problem is. Right. You have no idea when you look in the mirror that it's you and you're depressed and you're on medication. Right. And then you go and, and you go, a lot of churches aren't teaching and, and talking about sin and your iniquity. And that is the problem. So right. you have to be honest with yourself and look at yourself and say, you know what? It's me, Lord. And that is where your wisdom is going to come in. That is where your value system is going to come in. Mm -hmm. That is where your understanding. And when you go look at yourself, let's say you're 25. I'm just putting a name out there. Right. You're 25. You don't want to look at yourself 10 years from now and not and still are smoking drinking, and whatever it is you're doing. And screwing. That, that keep, and, and yes, and yes, doing all the things that, that keeps you just in, in, in sin with no peace. In limbo. Keeping you, at, right, and, 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 and you know the Lord, but you can't get close to him because of the iniquity and the sin in your life. Right. And that sin, believe me, Satan knows what he's doing. That oh, sin yeah. is going to distract you. He, that, that's what it is. It's a distraction. Mm hmm so, but you have to look at yourself and say, you know what? People can only do what you allow them to do. Thank you. I will tell a man and I will tell a woman. When a man says there's no good women, and when a woman says there's no there are no good men, there there are. You just there don't are. do the work that's necessary to get these things. And then a lot of times, it may not be someone that you want physically, or you're like because you you it's the standard and this idea of what we view as. Of relationships where everything's so superficial, right? We're not valuing principles and values and character, and, you know, heart, right? And, spirit and, and not soul. wanting the man to have a whole bunch of children by different women, and saying, "Listen, the man has a job, or he's educator, or something, some kind of, uh, you know, value a value system and some principles that you're putting behind and standards that that you have to have, right? In order to, you know, to have to, to get someone that makes some sense, you got mm -hmm. when you look at all these things, and you just accept anything, and anything. the men that and the men that pursue you, it's acceptable. But you have to look at the Lord in, in the mirror and say, Lord, it's me, because a man couldn't take advantage of my body if I didn't say okay. A man couldn't take my heart if I didn't give it to him. A man Hello. couldn't do these things to me if I didn't allow it. Thank so you. It begins with me so my heart needs to be healed thank so you i need to look in the mirror and ask the lord to help me yes and you have to be honest with yourself but people don't want to do that and no. that's the tough part because mm -hmm. we identify because people have sometimes no idea why their life is the way it is that's and right they just go through life and then they say oh well i'm just bipolar or i'm on psych meds i guess you are on psych meds when you make this these uh, bombs and you you make all these toxic sin bombs and you deal with the ramifications of the choices because it's nothing but sin. It's and all you it pay is. A price. That's when right. You, when you do certain behaviors, there's a price that's paid. That's and right. A lot of times, if you, you you're either being used or you're going to be hurt or somebody's going to game on you, something's going to happen, mm -hmm. and then you're going to find yourself wondering why. It, you know, why can't I meet a decent man? Why? And then when you do meet someone, a man that makes sense, he's not going to want to be bothered with foolishness because you don't understand to even value him. To say, hey, that's that's a decent man. That's a good man. Uh -huh. That's a, you know. That, right. And so, our, there's so much. There's so much. I know there's a so man who told a girlfriend of his. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was fussing at her in a nice mm -hmm. way. He wasn't being mean. But he was telling her, he said, number one, you don't have any drive. Number two, you're floundering, you're jumping from pillar to post. Number four, 
You have right. no no goals. You're not making a plan to carry out. You don't seem to have a future that you're working towards. All you mm-hmm. do is lay in the hay, get up, hang around, talk loud, saying nothing. You ain't about nothing. You hanging around people who ain't about nothing. And I'm trying to get my act together, but right now I ain't about nothing. And you and I both ain't about nothing. Nothing mm-hmm. from nothing leaves nothing. And right. when you find a man who's looking for value, I know you right. guys, some of you guys need to chime in with me on this. You do not want a hot tail Sally that's nope, flinging it not. over here, Woo. flinging it over there, shaking nope. the boobs up here and, and shaking the booty down there. And they just opening it to everybody everywhere. You don't want a woman like that. You want a woman... I'm not going to tell you what kind of woman you want because you know what you want. But I'm talking about the kind of woman that you want to settle down with, the kind of woman you want to uh, to be under the same roof with, married to the for the rest of, of your that you life. Want to have children with and That's take right. Home to your mother. And that treats you with respect. That right. treats you like the man you are. That knows right. how to communicate with a little sense. That knows oh. how to live a peaceful life that knows how to encourage and she's not argumentative right. and confrontational and a ball a ball busting bee. She's none of that. She's very kind. She's very right. thoughtful and considerate of your needs, yet strong enough to speak her mind and firm enough not to back down when she's right, but not to get into an argument when you disagree. So, mm-hmm. I mean, there are wise women out there and you're looking for them but sometimes you're looking for them in the wrong body and that's what it is right hit the nail on the head with the men the men just have this and the and see the enemy knows he knows what to bring you away if he can see you from the lord if he can keep you from so what he does is he sends you what your does he knows what your desires are? Mm-hmm. That look of it when you when you said to yourself, Lord, look, and you've gotten on your knees and said, Lord, I'm going to do better. I'm going to uh, read my word. I'm going to live for you. I'm going to cut out. He, the enemy says, Oh snap! You know what? He's serious. So and so go in there, go in action. This this is her look. This is your look. This is a woman. Now she walks in front of you and she is giving you the eye. Thank and the you. other time, you're doing the pursuing. Right. But now, because the enemy knows that that's how he he fights his mm-hmm. battles by just watching you when you when you when you just all he has to do is just put temptation in front of you. That's it. And you'll stumble. You have to recognize this and say, you know, I know this is a perpetuating cycle in my life. When I I'm in and out of relationships with women that look the same because men like women. That's um, right. Men, men have type a type that they like. Just like women do. That's right. Yeah. Right, and they but but women sometimes we can be more like Le- like uh we'll we'll um we're more flexible. Yeah, we're exactly we're more flexible when it comes to that. Men they just like it. They like a, a certain body shape or a certain mm-hmm. hair texture or length. That's what they like. And you'll find, like, if their first wife look like that, their second wife will have that kind of... They look like they could almost be sisters. (laughs) I've not seen it. I've seen it. (laughs) But that's what they like with the enemy Mm -hmm. knows that. Mm -hmm. He knows these things. Mm -hmm. So he will send a cantankerous Jezebel spirit woman in that type of body looking just like that. Thank you. But she will be something that you would say, Lord, what in the world have I gotten myself into? You be peeling yourself up off right. the floor wondering what and, happened. And they got you in the hospital because she busted you upside the head with a frying pan because you serious. happened to glance really. at another woman on TV. <laughs> but it's, it's true. And, and, and people, a, a lot of different scenarios for, for people that in relationship and you know in the market and sometimes they look at their relationship with the lord and they want a relationship with the enemy that lust that feeling of of self-worth 
value and you get it mis mixed up with the the world and, and right. you can't separate the spirit and say, Lord, you know what I want. I'm going to be still. I'm not going to jump head first because she said, whisper sweet nothings and make my coat, my toes curl. And now I'm feeling it. No, I'm going to wait on you, Lord. I'm not going right. to do anything. I'm going to stay and I'm going to pray and I'm going to do the, this. This You have to put work into things. That's right. You have to put physical work in a relationship. Just like you put a relationship with you and me. You have to put physical work in Thank with a relationship you. with the Lord. You have Thank to spend you. time, even if it's not five or ten minutes a day. That's right. The word. That's because right. if you don't understand what the word says, then how can you understand anything? Thank you. The God's standard is, is his word is, is your standard and your value system. But if you never read it, you don't know. Right. But, and sometimes, a lot of times, you'll find that when you're reading and you're going through or you just need encouragement. That thought where you have just prayed and said, Lord, you know, I really want to, I want to stop fornicating, but I'm, I'm struggling. And you'll come across a scripture that will strengthen you or, or say, that's validate right. what you are feeling. Yeah, or just, empowering scripture. Just what, it's power. That's where your power lies in prayer and reading your word. Because the words are alive. It is. They are. And that's what you need to know and that these are the things that you need to do to build a relationship with the lord you have to talk to him just like you spend time on that phone talking mm -hmm. to that little people that aren't even worth the time of your day they right. don't care about you you right. spend all this time hey baby wasting time you, <laughs> you ain't calling me you ain't into the phone but jesus is there he's there waiting for you right but you have to take the initiative to do it and value these things thank once, you once you get and understanding, you will look at things totally different. Right. Your perspective on life will change. Then you'll start understanding. And then you should want to rear your children. You should, men should want to, because I would say it, I don't want to have children by a woman that is crazy. I don't want to have, when you look at these crazy people, and people don't show you that they're crazy until you get in a relationship. Thank so, you. Wait, you wait, at, wait, uh, wait, 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 Marlene. Let's stop right here and go to the next video. Folks have short attention spans, and I want to make sure they hear this right here, what you're saying. Repeat what you just said. Um, yeah, people don't show that they're crazy until they get in relationships with you. Hold They'll that keep note. Cool and, and keep, uh, you know, a calm head and, and say, whisper sweet nothing. But That's that right. that cuckoo-ness and that it's still out. undercover. It, Hold it yes, right said, there. I do. Hold after it right there, said, Marlene. Yep. Marlene, hold it right there. We're going to come back. Don't you go anywhere because we're going to expose the undercover agents. <laughs>